Good morning, a beautiful weekend ahead, especially today. And I want to congratulate all the graduates this weekend. So let's start with your graduation forecast. I'd say graduating with honors. 73, mostly sunny today. Tomorrow, it's a little cloudier. Similar temperatures, although at the coast, there will be a bit more of a difference as those breezes come in from more of that onshore direction. But tough to complain about tomorrow. And we've had so many bad Sundays in a row. This one will finally be decent. Just a slight chance of a sprinkle. No sprinkles today. In fact, all the sprinkles on live pinpoint Doppler 12 well off to our west. You can see a few stretching there in Pennsylvania. And it's just a gorgeous scene here in Newport. Looking at the Newport Bridge, visibility unlimited. Same thing here from East Providence looking towards the capital city. It just kind of has that feel of a good day, right? Temperatures are still running in the mid 40s in Taunton, 53 in New Bedford, 55 in Providence. We're at 53 in Newport and 56 in Westerly and 53 on Block Island. And our weather station in Westerly reporting 56 as well. We have a bit of a breeze. It's coming in from the northwest, 8 miles an hour in Providence, 10 in Newport, 3 in Westerly. And I wouldn't be surprised if we had some gusts between about 15 or 20 this morning, but it comes from more of that refreshing direction that being the northwest, so I think we can handle that. Now, the wider view does show another active day of severe weather across the midsection of the country. Fortunately, we escaped that today. Now, eventually, the center of low pressure, which is driving some of that severe weather, that will scoot to our north on Monday. We're not going to see severe weather from that, but we will see milder temperatures, increasing humidity, and a slight chance of some showers on Monday. So let's walk you through the forecast here for the next 48 hours. I'm going to fast forward through tonight because nothing much doing. This is very early tomorrow morning, slight chance of some fog and maybe even a sprinkle or two. And that chance exists through the later hours of Sunday morning. This is around 8 a.m. Again, I'm not anticipating a washout. We may make it through all of Sunday without any rain at all. By the afternoon, we're talking about partly to mostly cloudy sky. So that's the key difference between today and tomorrow. Tomorrow does feature more clouds and a bit more of an onshore flow. And then by Sunday night into Monday morning, chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Monday is not a washout, but there will be the chance of a few showers. And the cloud cover situation and that shower situation on Monday will determine if we can end up making it into the low 80s. It will be a close call. On the water this weekend, looking great, especially today. Visibility unlimited today. Wind starting from the northwest. Now they will be shifting around from the southwest at 5 to 10 knots by the afternoon waves around 3 feet. Then tomorrow, just a slight risk of some patchy fog in the morning, so slightly lower visibility. On Sunday, breezes a little more steady from the south and southwest, 5 to 15 knots waves around 2 to 3 feet. Today's forecast shows those temperatures reaching the low 70s by the early afternoon with the mostly sunny skies. Breezes from the northwest may lighten up a little bit by the afternoon. As I just mentioned, though, along the south coast, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it will be coming more from the west and southwest. That's why you'll notice these south coast temperatures a little cooler than inland spots today. So we'll give you high temperatures from westerly into Newport and Jamestown in the mid to upper 60s, while places like Smithfield, West Greenwich, Providence, Taunton should be able to sneak into the low 70s, no problem. This evening, it's comfortable. If you have evening plans dropping into the mid to upper 60s by around 8 p.m. and then overnight temperatures going back into the upper 50s and then tomorrow morning we'll start with temperatures in the low 50s getting up to around 71 by tomorrow afternoon. Again, that's an inland forecast along the coast tomorrow. You're low to mid 60s with those breezes from the south. So on Monday, chance of a few showers. I have a high of 79. If we can punch into a little bit of sunshine for a decent part of the day, I think low 80s would be achieved inland while the south coast won't be quite as mild. And then on Tuesday, back in the low 70s, Tuesday is actually really nice, even though it's a little cooler than Monday. Throughout the middle of the week, we're talking upper 60s to low 70s with the chance of some showers arriving by the end of the week. But I'll tell you what, Jules, it's been a long, long time since I've put that many 70s showing up there on the seven day forecast. Yeah, just this past week, we had temperatures dipping into the low 40s, upper 30s in places. Yes. I don't want to jinx it, but maybe spring is here. It <laughs> does appear that way in the seven day forecast. Yeah, it'll be nice to say goodbye to those highs in the